Good afternoon, Pastor David. Hey, John. Welcome, everybody, to a random moment with Pastor David Unfiltered. And being at Thursday today, we're going to speak a little bit about your message coming up on Sunday. We'd like to tease out a little bit on your Sunday's message. And, you know, in light of what has gone on with the overturning of Roe versus Wade, we now see there's been a backlash. And it seems that this backlash is coming more from cultural influencers rather than expertise in the field. How valid, and I guess I can back up this pastor, was this going on still in the day of Jesus? And how valid is their point? I mean, one person came out and said, uh, in the name of Jesus, no longer listen to my music. Yeah, as if we listened. I was like, in the first place, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, that's the kind of that's the kind of thing that we see, like with Neil Young and and Joni Mitchell. And Joni Mitchell, you know, and and all these young people are saying, that's my grandfather's music. Why would I listen <laughs> would I to it anyway? Right? But, I don't get but it. But we also see, like, even NBA stars, LeBron James, you know, and 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 they become experts in law, mm -hmm. and were there. God-given talent in, in athletics, they're using this platform to really express themselves, and people are responding as golden, like they're the experts of the law or experts in the cultural uh, cultural platform. So, as you know, Paul spoke about that: not many wise, not many mighty, and not many who are noble. Uh, in in First Corinthians, speaks a little bit about something like this, and. Pastor, what's the reaction to Jesus as it continues to ex exist as those who identify themselves as intellectuals and influencers? Well, you know, there's no doubt in my mind that these who are gifted in entertainment have incredible skills, else they wouldn't become multimillionaires, you know, pretending to be somebody else or something else. So they play a lot of roles. And over the years, uh, people have uh, apparently mixed up their roles with uh, who they actually are. Many of these people that are trying to influence others uh, with their intellectual abilities haven't even finished high school. You know, never become advanced in terms of their, their learning. They don't have bachelors, masters, doctorates. They don't, they're, they're simply entertainers. And as I will be sharing a bit on, on Sunday, they're really the modern day court jesters is what they are. The jester during the time of the middle medieval times and all was the entertainer the storyteller the uh the one that would um you know tell jokes and and speak out against um you know cultural and societal norms and all and he did so because he was given the right to do that by by the monarch by the king you know and i'll share a little bit about that but what we have today is uh we have court jesters who are actually advising the king, if you will. Court jesters who think that their opinions actually matter, and sadly to a group of people they do. I, I still remember when the commercials uh, that we have on television, when commercials began where somebody's saying, I am not a doctor, I play a doctor, and then they go off and share whatever advice they may have about medicine. And uh, I, I remember that uh, when a particular soap opera couple had finally chosen to marry, that this couple was receiving gifts from fans as if they really got married. And that kind of shows you how, um, how warped many of us are, how imaginary the world actually is for some. Mm -hmm. And so these people think of themselves as cultural influencers. That, uh, that really didn't exist in my early early years of life, it began to exist in the late 60s, early 70s, and much of it came about when, uh, like the Beatles and uh, various entertainers at that time began to make their political opinions known in their music and in the things they would say from the stage. And before you know it, my generation <laughs> began to listen to them as if they would know because they were millionaires and they traveled. When in fact it was just their opinion, and because they were um, because they were popular, their opinion became the popular opinion, right? And so that's what's happening now. So these musicians and entertainers who have never spent one day uh, in in uh, studying political science or things that relate to the government or the separation of uh, you know the courts from 
from the from the uh, from Congress and from the president and all those those things that you're taught in what used to be called civics. Um, they they don't have a clue about any of that, and so they're out there making pronouncements on on Supreme Court justices who they disagree with because their uh, uh, ideology is different than that of the judge. They've never been taught anything concerning the nuances of the law. They're, they're not even understanding what that actual uh, decision uh, really uh, means. I mean, it, it, it's not, this is not necessarily a good thing, but it's not saying that the decision was not saying that that abortion itself was outlawed. It was removing the federal government from um, from enacting something that wasn't found in the Constitution, and it was brought back to the states to make a determination. And so you have the uh, state of California, state of New York, and various other states that aren't going to change at all. There's nothing going to be changed here until until something can happen in our state that 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 impacts us statewide. And so it's even a misunderstanding. Plus, you have these people like uh, Cortez, Ocasio-Cortez, who, 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 you know, was tending bar before she became a member of Congress, and yet here she is spouting off as if she's some kind of expert, and all of these very um, dim-witted, I have to be honest with you, opinionated, dim-witted people following this person. Again, she's a jester. She is a court jester. She's, 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 she doesn't, she really, you know, to be honest and, and seeing this is unfiltered, um, she has no, she has no, no expertise that relates to law. She, she doesn't know any of that. And so why people listen to people like her, it's just, it's just part of the days that we're living in, John. <clears throat> there was a, a lead singer from a group called Green Day. Yeah. He's in the UK right now. Yeah. Right? And doesn't want to come back. Well, well, he can stay. He I can mean, stay. you want to bash the United States as, again, like, what do you know? What do you know? It's, see, in ministry, it's interesting. I have people who've never read the Bible telling me what I'm supposed to teach. I have people who've never given a single Bible study telling me what is missing in my messages. You know, I've been teaching the Bible for a long time, for 49 years. And yet, I have people who don't even read it as a hobby, don't even remember anything from Sunday school. And so they know how the church is supposed to run. I mean, they're posting on Facebook their opinions all the time, right? You listen to them. You respect the fact that they have opinions. Everybody has the right to express themselves. But don't take yourself so seriously as if you matter that much. Your opinion doesn't. You know, at the end of the day, um, these, these quote-unquote entertainers, these actors, they should just remember that these people pay money to get a ticket, to sit down, to listen to them sing a song. They didn't pay them so they could be told who to vote for or or what to believe in. I mean, that's just the craziness of our society, John. It really is, it, and, it's, uh, and it seems like it's just getting worse. It is getting worse. It's <laughs> supposed to get worse. The scripture says that in the last days, it'll, evil will wax worse and worse. And so, indeed, that's what's happening. I mean, we're living in the last days. Why are we surprised? Right, right. So we're to keep our eyes looking up. Yeah, do what God called you to do. Um, you know, vote, make your voices heard, be willing to stand up and say, this is what Scripture says and what I believe. Don't be worried about being canceled because the only person you ought to be concerned about, Jesus said, is, is the Father who is able to, to send you to hell. If you're going to fear somebody, said, fear him. So just be wise, but I'm not influenced by entertainers. They're here to uh to sing a song or to act a role but you know they're not here to tell me how to think about life amen well you guys just come check out our sunday morning uh, message as pastor david will teach more on this and uh invite your friends and family to come on out that's going to be on sunday 8 uh 8 30 and 10 45 and then after our 10 45 service after second service uh, you're going to gather those who want to be baptized. And drown them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and in the sanctuary, and, and you're going to give them a devo on what baptism mm -hmm. is. Share yeah. a little bit about mm -hmm. that. Then we're going to go out there, all of us, and uh, uh, and baptize. We're going to have we're going to have a baptism. We're going to have music, you know, worship. We're going to have, you know, um, food. And it's just going to be like a, Jan a Ju July 3rd family picnic baptism and it's going to be a great time and so if yeah. those you guys have never been baptized or maybe you've been baptized and it's been a while or maybe the first time it didn't count 
uh, <laughs> come on out and uh, uh, be held on. I mean, get baptized yeah. for. Uh, and what a great demonstration to celebrate to the everybody. That's what real there, freedom is. What real freedom is. And mm -hmm. so, again, uh, come on out and join us. And thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, remember also July 10th, which is in a couple of weeks, we have our uh, our Israel meeting, informational meeting after second service in the sanctuary. Come on, check it out. And if you have any questions, but we do look forward to seeing you on Sunday and God bless you. Thank Amen. you, Pastor David. Amen.